working. That's always a good thing. That is a very good thing. Hey, this is The Finder. I'm here with Tom Lawler. Oh my god, Tom Lawler is here at M1 Global of all places. Tom, what are you doing here at M1 Global? Uh, I'm going ahead. Uh, I'm doing some commentary. Hopefully, uh, I still have a commentary job and a fighting job after this show. That would be nice. Yeah, did Dana White approve of this? Do you know about you doing this here? Uh, you know, he does uh, now. <laughs> yeah, he does now. Uh, if this goes on the internet, I may have to I've never heard the internet. I don't know what you're talking about. The interwebs. The interwebs. Uh, yeah, you know, um, Severn, uh, he's on top of you. He kind of reminded him of a bear uh, because of his vertical size and also his smell. So I'm not sure if that's something I want to cross. I didn't say it in the first place. Uh, I said it. I'm sorry. So who is there? Uh, to be quite honest, I, you know, Sakuraba was a, he was a trendsetter with the entrances. I'd probably have to give the nod to Genki Sudo. A lot of people are like, oh man, that's awesome, you're creative when you come up with your entrances. If you watch my entrances, basically I've stolen ideas from other people. I didn't come up with any of this stuff on my own. If you watch Genki Sudo, however, he's coming out with a KFC bucket on his hat shooting flames. I and mean, that's pretty inventive. I don't exactly know what he was going for there, but uh, he was going for something nonetheless. And that was at least creative. Uh, me, on the other hand, I just kind of steal people's ideas and, and try to run with them. So uh, I'd, I'd give the nod to Genki Sudo. All right, now what's next for you now? You went through this problem with Joe Dirksen, you had the fight over. What's coming up next for you? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, hopefully, uh, my next fight will be in the UFC, and uh, they'll go ahead and, and you know give me somebody that's really easy. Maybe it's only fight nerd Tom Lawler. No big deal here. Maybe it would be that midget that just walked by. Hopefully, I can fight that guy because he looked like he weighed about 130 pounds. I can take him. Uh, yeah. What else will take him? What? I'll stand right behind you as soon as you go ahead and punch him once, push you out of the way, and come in and get the win. That's how we roll. Uh, <laughs> Um, you know, hopefully, uh, you know, I don't know. Uh, honestly, I'm just, uh, I'm enjoying the ride. Uh, but at the same time, I, I really think I have to start taking things, not, not more seriously, but uh, I'm going to really look look down the road. And uh, I don't want to be one of the guys that was in the UFC, uh, got a little bit of publicity, and then faded away. You know, I want this to be my career for the rest of my life. So um, I've got to go ahead and change a couple things and get back on track. So will the UFC be your ideal choice, or would Strike Force be a possibility, maybe? Bellator, even? Uh, no, uh, uh, definitely, uh, definitely the UFC. Uh, I'd like to, like to stay with the UFC uh, for the rest of my career. You know, uh, they're the number one show uh, in in the world. Now much. I can't show this to anybody within that one world. Thank you, Tom. You made my interview great. And I'll never get invited back to the show. Uh, well, that, that's fine. I'm just protecting my own job and being honest. I mean, that's true. Um, you know, the UFC is the best place in the world to fight for. Uh, I haven't fought for Strike Force in other places. No, no disrespect, but I can't believe it's, uh, it's on the same level. So, um, you know, obviously I like to stay with the UFC. I'd like to win fights with the UFC. By the way, this is a very snazzy outfit you have here today. Can you get a shot of this whole ensemble here? <laughs> uh, if Armani is a guy that's currently in a coffin, uh, somewhere in Florida, and he's been dead for about 20 years. And yes, I did get it from Armani, uh, but I actually got it from Savers in Las Vegas. I believe the whole outfit probably costs less than $40, including the shoes. Can I try it on? Would, would this fit me? I want to try the jacket on. I, I, on. I think I look very good in that. Do you agree? I, I, the, you can't really do it without the vest, but I'm going to give it a shot. Right, you're going you're gonna to be the fighter now. You get to interview me while I, while I put on your jacket. So I know from experience, but I'm wondering, uh, for the layperson... How does the jacket feel going on that right arm? It's quite exceptionally cheap. I can tell the fabric is not really breathing very well. Even for me, I do know that this looks a lot like my bar mitzvah suit, and my hands aren't really sh There they are. I found them. Okay, well, this is a very nice suit. Well, Tom, thank you for your time today. Thank you for the suit. Right, I appreciate all the stuff. home. Thank you very much. You look great with the vest on. It's, uh, it's very fitting. Thank you. Thank you very much. I know I look uh, better with the vest on than I do the jacket. Uh, I look like a little boy playing his dance club right now. <laughs> I'll let you go ahead and wear it uh, for as long as you like. Uh, for about the next 10 seconds before I take it off. I'm going to take it off right now. Thank you, Tom. <laughs> no problem. Thank you. This video is sponsored by Skin Industries. 
dominating fashion for the past 11 years with hundreds of designs for men, women, and children. Skin Industries is your everyday lifestyle clothing brand. Start living in skin today and check out SkinIndustries.com.